So guys, OpenAI just dropped some absolutely insane new research. This new paper titled Paper Bench. Now, I'm sorry I didn't post about this earlier. I was working on my March AI recap video, which is actually the first episode of a new monthly series I'm starting. So if you're interested in that, make sure to stick around till the end because I have more to say on it. But guys, we have to talk about this new OpenAI paper. So first off, I'm guessing most of you already recognize this graph. And if you do, you probably already know where this is going. But if not, this graph is from one of the most iconic and talked about AI papers in recent time. It's by former OpenAI researcher Leopold Aschenbrenner, and it's called Situational Awareness. This particular graph from the paper shows what he predicts will happen once we have automated AI research. That's the inflection point around 2027 where the line completely takes off. Now, you might be thinking, don't we already have that? I mean, OpenAI and Google have deep research agents. Even Grok has deep search. These are all agents that can search the web autonomously. And by now, pretty much all chatbots have real-time access to the internet, with Anthropic's Claude just recently joining the club. But while this is all true, what he's talking about here is AI that can do AI research. He's plotting the point at which AI research becomes automated, and AI becomes capable of essentially improving itself, configuring its own architecture, making itself more efficient, even more intelligent. He believes this could trigger what is called recursive self-improving AI, where it just constantly improves itself, and its improved version then further improves itself, which further improves its further improved version, which further improves its further further improved version, leading to constant further improvement everywhere and inevitably, some form of artificial superintelligence. Seriously though, this is basically what technology already does. Just a constant, positive feedback flywheel, getting better and faster, steered by smart human intuition and engineering. But now, we might no longer be the one steering. It feels like we're giving up control without even noticing, lulled by comfort, distracted by progress, trading agency for ease. Whatever the reason, if this new OpenAI paper tells us anything, it's that we're a lot closer to that future than we think. So getting into the actual paper, OpenAI introduces a brand new benchmark called Paper Bench, designed to evaluate the ability of AI agents to replicate state-of-the-art AI research. In other words, it's a benchmark to evaluate automated AI research. Now, they state, agents must replicate 20 ICML 2024 spotlight and oral papers from scratch, including understanding paper contributions, developing a code base, and successfully executing experiments. So the agent has to do literally everything completely autonomously. There's no human intervention whatsoever. And here's the crazy part. In a sense, while this is technically a benchmark, it's also kind of a blueprint, a framework for how AI agents could actually start conducting AI research on their own. As you can see, they lay out the full workflow right here. First, the agent receives a real research paper, and its goal is to replicate the paper's main contributions. The agent reads the paper, figures out what it's saying, and starts coding everything from scratch. It then runs the experiments, writes a script to reproduce the results, adds a readme, and saves it all to a folder. That folder then gets submitted, just like a real research project, and tests it to see if it actually works. Finally, an LLM judge takes a look at it and determines how close it got to actually reproducing the paper. Now, what they found so far is that Anthropic's Claude 3.5 Sonnet New is the best performing model at this, with a simple agentic scaffold, meaning tools like web search, Python, file writing, etc. It scored 21% on Paperbench. While that might not sound impressive, they mentioned that the human baseline of machine learning PhDs, best of three attempts, achieved 41.4% after 48 hours of effort. So it's already about half as good as a PhD level machine learning researcher on a benchmark that didn't even exist until now. Now, getting into the rules real quick, they mentioned that the benchmark is designed to be agnostic to agentic scaffolds, meaning it doesn't care what tools, frameworks, or methods the agent uses to recreate the paper. On top of that, runtime and compute are not restricted in any way. Essentially, the only real rule is that the agent can't just search up the paper's code repository and copy-paste it. Since it can theoretically do that, OpenAI provides a blacklist for each paper that includes the author's own code repository and any other online replications. 
Also, the rubrics were written in collaboration with one of the original authors of each paper. That means the grading for each task is custom built and reflects what the authors themselves see as the core contributions of their work. As you can see, each rubric is structured like a tree, where the main goals of the paper are broken down into smaller and smaller parts. The leaf nodes at the bottom represent very specific requirements, like whether a certain graph was reproduced or if a model was implemented correctly. Each of these is scored as a simple pass or fail. Then, those scores are combined and averaged up the tree using a weighted system. So more important results count for more. Now, keep in mind, this is all being done by an LLM judge. They mention here that in preliminary experiments, they found that manually grading each paper reproduction with a human expert just took way too long, on the order of tens of hours per paper. But with this LLM-based judge, they could do it much faster, enabling scaled evaluation of paper bench submissions. They also expect the quality of automated judges to improve over time, allowing the reliability of the scores reported on their benchmark to improve over time as well. So we have AI judging how well AI can improve AI, and as AI gets better at improving AI, so does AI at judging AI on improving AI. So yeah, AI is doing the research, running the experiments, and also grading the results. I mean, at this point, why are we still even showing up? Might as well just pack it up and let the AGIs handle everything. In all seriousness though, we are still a long ways away to having true automated AI research. And when I say a long ways away, I'm talking about an AI time, which is really only a few years. Right now, as we saw earlier, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the best performing model on Paperbench with a score of 21%. The front runner is O1 with high compute at 13.2% and then DeepSeek R1 at 6%. So Claude 3.5 Sonnet is way ahead of every other model, and the potential reason for this they give is that all models except Claude frequently finished early, claiming that they had either finished the entire replication or had faced a problem they couldn't solve. Interestingly though, when they used prompts to nudge the model to keep going and removed its ability to finish early, they found that Claude 3.5 Sonnet actually performed slightly worse, and O1 High achieved a new high score of 24.4%. So yeah, while these early results are super impressive, we're still very much in the early stages of true autonomous AI research. Most agents struggled, and even the best models had issues with prematurely stopping, misinterpreting parts of the paper, or failing to reproduce key experiments. OpenAI also points out several other limitations, things like the small dataset size, a lack of high quality papers, possible contamination since these models might have been trained on some of these papers before, and of course, the cost and human labor involved in building the benchmark in the first place. But here's the thing, this benchmark just dropped, and the gap between Claude's 21% and human's 41% is already getting smaller. The takeaway here isn't that AI can already replicate state-of-the-art research, it's that OpenAI just built the training ground for the AI that eventually will. They've basically laid the foundation for true automated AI research, which, according to Leopold, is exactly what leads to superintelligence and fast. And I mean, it's not just according to Leopold Aschenbrenner. Even Sam Altman himself has said in a recent blog post, The Intelligence Age, that it's possible we will have super intelligence in a few thousand days. And that quote, This may turn out to be the most consequential fact about all of history so far. So that is OpenAI's paper bench. It looks like this week we officially moved one step closer to ASI. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. Now, for those of you still here, I wanted to quickly mention that I've started a new monthly series where I recap everything that happened in the AI space over the past month. So in addition to the regular uploads, there will be one big video at the start of each month covering all the major releases, updates, tools, research, and news. I posted the first one for March, and it ended up being a full hour long. After sitting with it, I realized that it might have been a little too dense, maybe even overwhelming. So for the next one, I'm thinking of trimming it down, maybe just focusing on the biggest stories, and skipping the deep dive into every single thing. But I really want your input. If you're watching this video, I have already put up a poll in the community tab where you can vote on what format you'd prefer and to leave feedback, whether positive or critical. I'd love to hear what you guys think. On that note, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.